Hello YouTube, this is Alex from Sinsboard. Thank you for staying with us. Our product is constantly improving and as you can see from the release notes, a new versions are available. One of our core novelties is usage of license keys for activating the software. Since 2.4 version, all installations get fail message without the license key or a license secret as we call it. How to obtain the key? Follow the separate guide. This video tutorial will help you install Thinsboard Professional Edition on your machine equipped with Windows OS. Notice, hardware requirements may vary depending on chosen database and amount of devices. I'll use PostgreSQL, so 2 GB RAM would be enough. In case you use Cassandra, 8 GB of random access memory is necessary. Thinsboard service is running on Java 8, so you should check a Java version. From command line, execute a command. If you don't have Java 1.8, then download OpenJDK package. Run the installation file and follow the instructions. Make sure add to path is enabled. Set Java home variable is also recommended but not necessary. Whenever you check the version again, the output will look like the one you see on my screen. Next step. Download this board service installation file. You can easily do that from our website. By default service is installed to Thinsboard folder in Program Files x86 directory where 32-bit applications installed. Important point, while installing Thinsboard, you should disable antivirus in case you use the one. This process will take few minutes. Meanwhile, you may obtain a key or go to license portal and copy your license secret. Now you should put it to Thinsboard configuration file. Find Thinsboard YML. It's in conf folder. Open the file with Notepad or other editor as administrator. Scroll to the bottom and locate the following configuration block. The key should be added to this line. Save the change and proceed with the next step. You are free to choose SQL or NoSQL database. In this guide, we'll use PostgreSQL for data storage. In order to connect your database, first of all, download the installation file. Make sure you use Postgres at least version 9.6. After, you may follow the installation instructions. It's preferred to install all required components. During the installation, you will be prompted for super user password. Create a password and do not forget it. I use the word Postgres as a password. Now we'll create Thinsboard database. There is a special pgadmin tool that was installed with Postgres package. Login as Postgres user. Open your host server and create database Thinsboard with owner Postgres. Some configuration on Thinsboard side is needed as well. Go to config file, the Thinsboard YML. Locate 
SQL DAO configuration block. Replace Postgres with your real Postgres user password in case you use the other one. Run command prompt as an administrator, change directory to your Thin's bot installation directory. For that purpose, use cd command and provide full path to the folder. Execute install bat script to install Thin's bot as Windows service. You may also add predefined demo data by adding minus minus load demo to the line and then running installation. Similar, uninstall bat will remove things both from Windows services. The output should be following. Now let's start ThinkBot service. Open the command prompt as an administrator and execute the following command. If succeed, you will have this output. Wait for a few seconds and open localhost on 8080 port. To access the web UI of your ThinsBot software, 